Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, today this lady is making smoked fish pie. Yeah, smoked fish pie, guys. So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. Um, it's been put in like in its little bunch. You know, in the group. You know, you have a team of group, and yeah. See, so we so maka maka so so so. So it's smoked fish. I bought the, the New Zealand brand. It's smoked hockey portions. Ah, it's got the skin on. I know, I don't like the skin on. Anyway, so it's got the skin on, but I'll be taking the skin off because I don't like the skin on it. Okay, so you're gonna need the smoked fish. So this will be for the white sauce, guys. So that's the cream, onion and garlic powder, and mixed herbs. I'm going to put a little bit of that just for taste. I like it. I like putting, this is the way I like making my fish pie, guys. This is why I'm showing you guys. And then you're going to need plain flour for the sauce. Okay, now we're moving over to the tin. This is the tin size that you'll be needing to make the pie in. And I'm going to use this broccoli. The raw one, guys, not the one in the packet because it's already like soft, so it'll cook and mush faster. And nah, you don't want that. So I'm gonna use this parsley as well. The dry parsley to me, it's like, doesn't have as much flavor as this. So you're gonna need a bunch of this, guys. The flat parsley. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the mashed potato, guys. So the potatoes are already chopped up and that was done by my daughter and she put all this um, ingredients together because you know the way I have it it's everywhere but hey don't judge me so you have cream salt and pepper butter oh you're gonna need some butter too for the white sauce mind you but this block will be enough more than plenty for the mashed potato and the white sauce and um, I put boiled eggs in my white sauce in the pie, but it's up to you if you want to. And the cheese, the grated cheese, guys, that goes on top of the mashed potatoes before you bake it. So here's the ingredients again, guys. Now I'm going to put it together, I'm going to make the white sauce first of all, while the potato is boiling, okay? Anyway guys, I'm going to have to chop these potatoes up, I'm going to chop them up, you know, like fairly small, uh, these little sizes, because in no time, right, you boil them and it cooks. Not like you boil them like this, and it will take like a couple of days for it to cook. We don't want that, we don't want that, we're in a rush, I've got to go back. <laughs> after my mama. Wait a anyway, yeah. Chop them real small. Yeah. Keep it, keep it like Yeah, if I be better. Get the ball rolling. See guys, I like to put like the garlic powder. Basic garlic powder go away. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. And some onion powder. We do it. Put it in there. And some salt. Put the salt because I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. So, just putting it right in the middle so when I put the next lot on you know start bubbling from the middle yep go need all that beer yeah then you just boil it boil it till it's really really soft and then it's easier to mush
Okay guys, I'm gonna do my white sauce now and I'm gonna need a couple of these blocks of butter. Maybe not. Yep, just a couple, not the whole block. Now it's taking its time to, to melt. Hello, hurry up. Right, guys, so I've got two little blocks of butter there. And then you just whoop in some flour. Yeah, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, about that much. See, the thing is, hey, the smoked fish already has, like, um, water in it already. So, you're going to have to make this fairly thick. And add your white sauce. Yeah. See? So now it's time to put the cream in. Time to put the cream in, guys. The whole lot. The whole thing. And then you just stir it. Stir it, stir it, stir it. And then it will thicken up real fast. And then that's when you start chucking in your, your seasoning. So it's good if it's fairly thick, guys. Trust me. Because when this melts down, it's going to be really watery. So we've got the potatoes on. Steaming away. So I'm going to add some onion powder. Garlic powder. I'm gonna add some mixed herbs. Okay. See, it's really thick now. Look. Yeah, it's really thick, and it's gonna get even thicker. But it doesn't matter because that's how it's gonna be. You know, if that's how it should be, thicker. Look. See how thick that is? That's, that's the right um, consistency that you want. I nearly swore saying that word, consistency. Yeah, so, then you need uh, your salt. And then you need all this parsley to go in it. It's really thick. I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. Yeah, because it got really thick, guys. Got really thick, like trying to look like, okay, kicky to me or something. Looks good. Anyway guys, I'm going to have to turn this off now and then I'm going to break the, the fish in. Can I turn it off? No? Okay, it's off now. Come and have a look at it. See? See all that? See how it looks thick? Don't worry. It's going to be just fine. I have to taste it just to see if... Use a bit more salt. Wait, where's the pepper? Oh, yeah. Pepper trying to play how to get sick. So you're gonna have to break the fish in. Chunky, whatever way you want it, that's how you do it. Oh, I don't like the skin on it. You know what guys, I'm going to have to fillet this, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the skin on it. No. See, 
See you guys, I fill it and I cut it up in like chunks. Nice to have it in chunks. Add prawn into the fish pie. Yeah, sometimes I do it, but if it's gonna be a fish pie, let it be a fish pie. Oh yeah. Really fish pie for Popo Emily. Let's see me, let's see me. Anyway, the potato is um, steaming away, overflowing and everything. But you see, I'm busy doing this, so... <clears throat> yeah, it's got to cook, so let it cook. Yeah, I don't like the skin on, so just peel it away from the skin. See how the fish has like water coming from? Can you see it? Yeah, well, that's why I said make the sauce thick because it's going to all add up with the sauce, with the water coming out of the fish. Oh yeah, ooh, look at all those chunks of fish, man, hey. Anyway guys, I'm going to show you guys later, but, come on, hey. come and have a look. For the fish in it. See? So I'm going to continue on finishing off the, um, put the rest of the fish in. But I don't think I'm going to use it all because that looks quite a lot already. But if you've got a, a really big pan and your, it can fit in your oven, you know, yeah, you go ahead and you use as much as you want, as large as you want. But I don't think I'll be using all this fish. Okay, just letting you know. I think I use two more fillets because quite a lot already. Right, put the chunks in. Nice to have chunk chunk. together now um, it's good to put it in order sort of thing just so you know when you have the pie it's going to look the bottom diggity even though uh, the mixture looks thick I'm telling you by the time the smokefish, you know, brings out all that liquid that's in it, it'll be just nice. So you put the broccoli in there. Yeah. So guys, you can put in as much broccoli as you want, you know. Heaps, not much, whatever. Broccoli here, guys. Even though it looks like little trees. Yeah, and this is the eggs. I chopped it up. Bye. Bam. Yep. So you put it between there, here, and there. You can even eat one if you want. Pop it up. This is really simple to make. Guys, but you'll have to wait till it's cooked. There you go. It's nice to have a lot of eggs, so when you're scooping it, you're bound to get an egg in your. That's only if, if you don't like the the photo having egg in it. Yeah, don't add it in. And then you get the rest of the mixture. Let's put it on. Because the broccoli in there, while it's cooking in the oven, will cook it just right. Mm-hmm. You can even use this mixture to make you a, a fish pie, guys. Oh, yeah. A little bit left here. Couple of tablespoonful. Mm -hmm. Right. Bam. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Um, it's time to put the mashed potato on it. You just plonk it on, plonk, and then you spread it out. Then you add the cheese on top. Hey, uh, my little bowl, and let bite the fish pie. Spread it out. Looked like a lot when I was putting it in there, but no, it looks like you have to put more in. So, you know when this is cooked, you got your mashed potato and your white sauce, fish, And then you put it in the oven. Um, Shall I get the kitchen on the oven? Is this how I get the oven? Oh. I'll spread out the, um, the mashed potato all over the, you know. Now, then you go and do some wiggy woggies. Wiggy woggy, wiggy woggy. You know like that. Let's see you wiggy woggy for you. Yeah, make a little pattern. You don't want to bite. Who's gonna make this? Who? Yeah, do it. If you've got spare fish around, you can even make it um, with normal fish. You don't even have it to have a smoke, but it's better when it's smoked. And then, bye. Look, I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, wiggy woggy, wiggy woggy. Then you get this cheese and you scatter it all over it. So when you bake it, Bob's your auntie. Bob is your auntie. Okay. Oui. Shh. Shh. Yeah. Ta-da. So, what temperature did you put it on, Sharon? Oh, so it's on 200 and you bake it in there till this is nice and golden brown or a little bit over. It's up to you how you like it. If you like the top really nice and crispy, you leave it on a bit longer. But if you like it when just the cheese is just melted, you take it out. It's up to you, each to their own. But anyway, I'm going to put it in the oven now, guys. Let's hope this tray fits into the oven. And if it doesn't, you guys are not allowed to laugh. Wait one. Oh yes, Bingo. Bingo, what's his name? I, I get, Here goes the final result, guys. It's out and it's all cooked. Let me cut into it, okay? Got my plate, I got my spoon. Now I'm gonna serve me some. I think I'm gonna need a spatula. Ta da! No, I told you, eh? I had it really, really thick because I knew it was going to be, you know, like a soft sauce in the end. But if you let it sit, it will be even firmer, you know, as what it is now. Guys, right? look. Bye. Come over here. Come over here. Here's my drink, just in case it gets burnt. gonna get burnt, okay? <laughs> yeah. First bite of yours. That's mine. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm. Do I need to treat the hood? Toot toot! <laughs> no. Stop that. It's so good, guys. You guys gotta make it, and at least you already know how to make it. And if you know how to make it, tell me down the bottom that I need something out. But this is how I make it anyway. This is how I usually make it. I, I add the eggs and stuff like that. What, what, what you saw me do. So you guys might do yours differently. Or this might be the first time you've done it. But cheers guys. That's the end result there. And there's the broccoli right there. But it can't focus properly. I think I might have to um, upgrade my camera. Eh? Get one that focuses straight away. See? The broccoli is cooked. Nice. See? That's a chunky egg, right? Yeah, so if you have your stuff all chunked up, it won't disappear into the sauce, okay, guys? So I hope you guys make it. Let me know how it goes if you make it, and let me know if it turned out okay, guys. But listen, make the sauce mixture thick, don't make it watery, like because trust me, the stuff you put in it will really water down and then it will make your sauce watery, too watery. Even though it does seem like it's watery now, but if you let it sit just a little, like next 10 minutes, it's ready to go. But for now, I have to eat in front of you guys. Then I gotta go home and look after my mama. Okay guys? Cheers guys. They're so hot. But, this is it guys. It's delicious and nutritious. Nay! <laughs> now if you put all your mouth it's nutritious. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm. It's so good guys. So, I hope you enjoy it when you make it. But for now, I'm going to see you guys later. Have a look one more time, just in case you forget what it looked like. There. Bam! Smoke fish pie, guys. Fast way for Hang around for another video another time, okay? If you see me, um... Oh, hang on, hang on. I want to say a big hello to this lady I met at Westmead Hospital. Her name is uh, Victoria. Her name is, she said her, they call her V or something. But uh, it's Victoria, so hello to you. And also um, Diana that I met at Plumpton, she walked up to say hello. So a shout out to you guys for saying hello. Appreciate it, guys. Well, once again, I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> say, hey, look, bye. See mm -mm -mm. See the cheese? Melt it on top. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you, no lie. This is good. Make sure you make everything chunky. Don't chop it up in little bits because it'll disappear in the sauce. Okay guys, fast way for it.